The scriptures say that we have all sinned and we have all fallen short of the glory of God. The scripture tells us that none of us are innocent. We have all sinned. When we were created, we were designed to worship God and be his holy people because he is a holy God. What that means is in him, there is no darkness. He is light. There's not a shade of darkness in him. He is perfect. And so anytime we sin, our sins, the smallest white lie you've told, it separates us from the presence of God. It disqualifies us from being even around him or near him. We've sinned against a holy God. Romans chapter 6 verse 23 says the wages of our sin, that means the punishment of our sin, is death. The sins in your life have bought you death, separation from God. But then that verse goes on to say, but the free gift of God is eternal life through Jesus Christ our Lord. (laughs) Jesus died for us. Jesus' death paid the price of our sins. Jesus' resurrection proves that God accepted Jesus' death as the payment for our sin. And so now this is what you must do. You must openly declare that Jesus is Lord. And the Bible says, believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead and you will be saved. You will be saved. And it's not just specific people. It's not people who have a clean record. It's not only the people that can get it together every Sunday. It's not only people who were raised in this family or that family. It's not about pedigree. It's not about where you came from. It's not about what you have earned. The scriptures say everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. And that is what you need. And you might be asking to be saved from what? How about this? Saved from your work. You don't need to work as hard to prove yourself to God. You don't need to earn the grace in your life. You don't need to earn what you, what you think you deserve. The grace of God says you get what you don't deserve. And it's not out of your own works. It's about what Jesus did on the cross. You get to be saved from, from that anxiety that hovers with you, that burden that you've been carrying. You can stop carrying the world on your shoulders. You can stop worrying about what's going to happen next. We've been living these last few years with COVID just worried about what's going to happen next. When is the next hammer going to fall? When am I going to get sick? When am I going to have death declared over me? We watch the news, what's happening in Ukraine and Russia, and thinking, what's going to happen next? When is it going to happen here? Christians don't need to worry about what happens next because we know what happens next. We have a God that we can trust. We have a God that lived a fully human life and he encountered death to its full extent and he was buried for three days and he rose again and now he is seated on the throne in heaven and he is in charge and he is working all things to the good of those who love him. This is what you could be saved from, this burden, this dark cloud that's hovering over you. Let me give you a few of the crazy things that Jesus said. Verse, uh, Matthew chapter 11, verse 28. He says, come to me, all of you who are weary and carry heavy burdens, and I will give you rest. <laughs> take my yoke, take, take my teaching upon you. Let me teach you because I am humble and gentle at heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy to bear, and the burden I give you is light. Because, because Jesus lives, we can trust him with our burden. We can come to him and we can rest in him. You need rest. You've been struggling for too long. You need a savior that can offer you what this world cannot offer you, which is rest. We can come to him and rest in him. But the thing is, it's only him. No one else died on a cross in your place. No one else rose from the dead to prove their authority. Every other religious figure in this world is dead in their grave. Their bones are still here. In John chapter 14, Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And no one comes to the Father except through me. You're here this morning because there is no other way. God is telling you this is is the way. Walk in it. Trust Jesus. There's no better time than now. 
There's no reason to wait. There's no more information that I can give you to convince you. You need to allow your faith to cross the line. John chapter 4 says, this is Jesus talking. He says, those who drink the water I give will never be thirsty again. It becomes a fresh bubbling spring within them, giving them eternal life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the truth. Jesus is the life. Jesus is alive. And his resurrection is the most important thing that has ever happened to you.